<clears throat> today, today we are talking about the anime, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. And what I want to start out in talking about this anime is the elf bar, okay? Because the elf bar was the hook for me, okay? I was watching this anime, it was great and everything, but then the elf bar came up and basically it's, it's like a strip club. I mean, not a strip club because they're not stripping necessarily, but it's like a, a strip club, but for elves. And it's just like, oh my God, that's amazing. Like that's everything that I want in life. So like it's fan servicey, but then they went a step above that and they actually made it super important to the plot. Like not only is there like a prediction that's laid down in the in the elf bar that's really important, but then also like some really important like plot points happen in the in the elf bar. So like it's so it's so well done. And then there's this scene later on in the show where they come back to the elf bar and there's this whole like there's this whole secret that like the men are, are sneaking off to the elf bar and the women catch them and it's just hilarious and adorable and I love it. So yeah, elf bar, mwah, chef's kiss. The next thing I want to talk about with this anime is the sexlessness of Rimuru. So I think that the 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 anime makers made a really sort of innovative and progressive choice of making Rimuru sexless. Not only did they change so when when the show starts out Rimuru starts out as a man and he has a man's voice. And then when when he gets reincarnated as a slime, he the voice actor changes and he becomes sexless like a, you know, like a slime. And then even once he takes on sort of a more human form, he sort of remains sexless. And he has the ability to sort of choose if he wants to, he can change his appearance to be more one gender or the, to appear more one gender or the other. But I just thought it was a fascinating choice and something that I really liked about the anime. The next is the silliness of the dragon is really sort of campy and cute. He has this whole, just throughout throughout the whole show, they, they keep this really fun, campy character as this super powerful dragon, again, which I thought was a, a really cool and interesting choice. And then later on in the show, he gets really into reading manga. And so this like super powerful dragon starts impersonating all of these different mangas like um like using kamehameha and things like that and it's adorable and i love it and then one of the things that i like most about the show is the sort of focus on peace and how most people are good deep down it was it was really refreshing because you know I, I enjoy a good action anime, you know, I, I, I enjoy Naruto, Naruto's great, and there's lots of violence and blood and everything in Naruto, but it, it's very rare for an action anime to be so focused on peace. In fact, I think it's rare for, for anime in general to be so focused on peace. Like, sure, there are slice of life animes where they're not really focused on violence, but they don't sort of actively fight against it. Whereas this anime really does actively fight against violence, which y'all know for me, like my mission statement, part, part of my mission statement is fighting against violence. And so that just is su super amazing and important to me. And then the there's this scene with the orc lord at the, at the end of the sort of or orc lord arc where it's just, it's just breathtaking. I don't wanna, I don't wanna give too many spoilers or anything because I want y'all to watch it because I think that this anime is 100% worth watching. But oh my goodness, it is a breathtaking moment. What 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 happens between Rimuru, the main character, and and the Orc Lord? And then the way that the show constantly adds on to what they're building. So they're they're building this community, and the way that they just constantly keep adding on new things to what they're building. So they figure out how to make clothes, they figure out how to make weapons, they figure out how to make armor, and they just constantly add on to it throughout the throughout the show. And it's 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 really really amazing. Um I really enjoy sort of seeing that process. And then also in in that time I got reincarnated as a slime, they 
have this they have this name mechanic where by naming people it gives people it gives people power and sort of upgrades them and i think that in in starting to watch other animes now i think that that may be sort of a common a common anime trope i think that that it was the first time that i'd seen it but I think that it may be more common, and it's a really cool idea. I relate to it both as someone who gives people nicknames. Like, for instance, when I give people nicknames in chat, it's a signifier of a deeper relationship with them, right? Because otherwise, like, I just call them, I just call them by whatever, whatever their actual username is, right? But then, like, once I give them a nickname, all of a sudden, our relationship is more significant. So I relate to it in that way. And then I also relate to it as a subby boy. Like as a subby boy, when somebody call when somebody calls me a good boy, like I I feel so powerful. I feel like the most powerful being on earth. So I, I I think it's a really cool concept. And then one of the things that I think speaks to the prowess of the show. I, I don't know I don't know how else to say that. One of the things that I think speaks to sort of the prowess of the show is that it's not often that my favorite character is the main character. And so, for instance, in Sherlock, my favorite character is Moriarty. And in Demon Slayer, my favorite character is Nezuko, which l neither of those are the, are the main character. In My Hero Academia, Aizawa is my favorite character. But in this, it's by far, like, no competition, it's Rimuru which I think is actually really, really heckin' impressive because it means that that main character like is incredibly well-written, incredibly well-developed, just like has so much, has so much depth and character that I'm really attracted to them. So I think, I think that, that, that they did a fantastic job with this anime as, as a whole. And then, and then Rimuru. Just, just look at Rimuru's outfits. Rimuru's outfits are, it's just so next level. Like, what what a what a heckin icon look at this look hello look wait hold on where's the one okay so first of all can we just appreciate look at look at how cool this is and then and then like look look at this look how rad look at this this is this is the essence of badassery look at this i just i love it i love it look at this oh my god oh my god i love it I, the the wardrobe for Rimuru is just mwah. Sh what is this? What is this? It's so good. It's so good. Oh my goodness. It's so good. I can't even I can't even describe. Definitely definitely one of my new favorite animes. Definitely top. I don't know how many, but top. It, it's in. Look at this. I love this. Oh my god. This power. This power right here. Oh. Oh yes. Yeah, so good. So good. Oh, so definitely one of my top animes. Highly, highly recommend um, that that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Those are my thoughts. I hope that they were helpful, informative, made you want to watch this anime. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know if you have any other thoughts. If you're watching this over on YouTube, like leave them down in the in the comments. If you're watching this on Twitch, feel free to feel free to leave them in chat and we can talk about them. If you would like to see more more videos like this, let me know. And uh, it, it's it's always really helpful when when y'all give feedback about you know I really like this type of video or I really I, I really prefer this type of video that you do. That's really helpful and sort of helps to steer the content. So please do you know leave that feedback. And then, you know, as usual, if, if you really like it here, please do um, subscribe to the YouTube and all that sort of stuff. And then uh, the last thing is, it's sort of weird saying this while I'm live on Twitch, but if you're watching this on YouTube, you can catch me over uh, at, at Tentacle Tech on, on Twitch. So you can go follow me on Twitch if you want. So yeah, so thanks for watching and bye everybody.